Well, welcome, good evening, wonderful dice of all elements. I am Lunar D8, and this is part 133. Let's play the Binding of Isaac Ultra Impossible from Scratch Challenge. And, like we've been doing for I'm not even sure how many parts now, we're trying to do this. I'm ignoring the rules of the dice challenge part, as I do sometimes, because I just fucking feel like it. And, we're doing this. And you might say, Lunar D8, what's the point of doing this? Your reward for doing this will be... Dad's Lost Coin and the Holy Card. Are those really worth it? Not really. Actually, it's a lot better not to get the Lost Coin item. It's it's better to not do this. That's not the point! We're trying to succeed at this shit. Doesn't matter if the reward is not worth it. Besides, we're going to fail anyway. We know this. But, we can still have fun playing a game, even if we lose, it doesn't matter, as long as we have fun, right? So, minute of the recording, OBS seems fine, everything's recording fine. So, click off OBS, let's give us our go. We're bound to get some sort of RNG that will carry us, because my skill is not going to do it. That could help. The reason I leave before the last pill... Um, oh, okay. Lock up, range down. Excuse me, what? That... Hmm... Explosive diarrhea. Forty-eight. Oh. Energy. Damn. Damn. Hmm. We're gonna try. I mean, I really haven't lost. I mean, it's odd that it, I was offered a free item, but none of the options for said free item I really felt were going to help me. Okay. By the way, like I said, I've asked for a buck. Am I penalized for hitting the button? Because I feel like, on the one hand, I could push the button every wave, but that makes the game take longer, it's kind of a bitch move on my part, and honestly, I feel like I get... Give it, oh, I didn't plug in my... I should do that before my battery gets low. I only did that right away, and I just slipped my mind this time. But I feel like every time, like, if I hit that button every wave... I get the impression that they, I actually get less money. And Tears Up does help. There is a size down, I just don't get the spirit heart. And, okay, that... If I could save that for greed, that would be good. Well, there's a good item. Not, what is that? Baby Bender. I was like, Spoon Bender? No, it's a fuck. Um, fucking hell! I 
already hit the button! I stopped it! You're telling me I jumped on the fucking button, took the damage, lost my holy mantle, and it didn't even count? Please not be invisible! Fuck. I will say this. The reward I got, I believe, for beating uh, the beast with this, with the loss, Hungry Soul, was definitely worth it. That is an amazing item. Now that being said, if you feel that the Lost Coin is a really good item, feel free to let me know how helpful it is to you in your runs. Hell, if you're a person who actually plays Isaac yourself, try just giving yourself nothing but the loss. Try giving yourself a hundred Lost Coins. Well, I mean, it'll be a lot of luck, I guess. Um. Okay. And there's a key on sale. Explosive dia infested. Okay, so I got the habit. So, depending on what I get... Oh my god! I... I really... How much does that help my... T okay! Polyphemus in a 1.45 tier 8. It's a lot better than my 0 0.89 tier 8 I had the one time. Um, will this re-roll my key? Let's test this. No. Polyphemus. The Habit and the Torn Photo. I don't really understand the Torn Photo part. Like, I have an ex that, you know, I don't want anything to do with, and I don't. And anytime I, I try to just avoid and have nothing to do with her. But I don't tear her out of pictures because that just seems very immature. I mean, hell. There were good parts of the past, there are bad parts of the past. But how does it help anyone to deny any deny that the fucking past happened? Especially in this regard of a family thing. I mean that's kinda hurtful to a kid. I mean, you can't just deny the past. Pretend shit never happened. Yeah, that doesn't seem very mature. Granted, I guess everyone's got their own reasons. I have mine. They have theirs. You guys have yours. And these spiders have theirs. I think, But I do feel like I get less of a monetary payout. I think this may be the highest tier rate I've ever had with Polyphemus. No, it's not saying a lot, but still. Now, it doesn't have to get things like number one, because that lowers certain things. I'm not entirely sure how that succeeded. Just glad it fed! Okay. Oh no, 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 no. Thank you, fire! Oh my god! No. I'm just saying. You know. It's a decision I decided wasn't emotionally healthy, but I don't have anything to like say. But there's no reason to tear people out of a picture and pretend they didn't exist. But then again, there's other people in different situations. I'm just saying it leaves a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth. 
Hello? Oh god! I was like, who am I fighting? Yeah. I'm a scat man! Beep up up beep boop! Beep up up beep boop! Beep up beep boop! Have you guys ever listened to the scat man? Or how about this? Banana phone. Do 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 Bring 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 bring! Banana phone! I remember on Newgrounds there was a flash animation called Banana Phone. Do you guys remember Foamy the Squirrel? Or Ruby reads as by an angry space marine. Or there was a flash animation called Retired Animal Babies, where there was a bunch of um, farm animals and cats and dogs and stuff, but they, you know, hung out with Satan. It also had a bit of a vulgar sense of humor, but I mean, I mean, come on, I I enjoyed watching South Park. Every episode was offensive, but I still enjoyed watching it. You guys ever listen to the musician slash comedian Stephen Lynch? He, he's hilarious. Go look up Stephen Lynch. He has like a 50 second video called What If That Guy from Smashing Pumpkins Lost His Car Keys? It's 50 seconds that I okay that actually helps like bloody lust doesn't help because that helps me if I get stronger if I take damage which it's very bad if that ever happens okay I will buy two keys here in hopes that that is a good investment for the future But, yeah, there's some web comics that are pretty good. There's Nuclear Power with a K, N U K L E A R, nuclearpower.com, A Bit Theater. That's a pretty funny web comic based on Final Fantasy 1 sprites. This graphic hurts my eyes. You do realize how terrible the habit is for this character. Not initially, no. I'm just normally happy at the habit. But yeah, now that I think about it, I should have just re-rolled the habit. Why Why did I pick this up? It, it procs on taking damage. I... I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. I want to re-roll both those things. Oh, match if I rerolled the habit. I could have got something a lot better than, you know, something I can't use. I lose my power up from having to change rooms so often, don't I? Yep. Be worth it. I gained some damage. I lost a little bit of tear rate. All in all, I could say it could be worth it. But it's like my main advantage right now. Are you fucking kidding me? I dodged that. He's just a champion. He's not the blood one that you can shoot at any time. That... Okay, we're gonna try it. 
I mean, I could possibly get some steam sails. Come on! But yeah, I feel dumb for taking the habit. You know, this is an item that is, has no fucking use to this character. It's normally a really good item, and that's why I'm like, oh god, yes! And I'm like, wait a second. There is no benefit to this item right now with this character type. That was a lucky shot. OH GOD! I don't know who I'm fighting. Is that Stain? GOD DAMN IT! I was so fucking focused on the bastard being underground that I walked into fucking envy! Okay, I need to focus on you guys right now. Where are you? Stop being underground! You're just gonna pop up and get a cheap shot on me. If that's the case, be somewhere that doesn't have ground. I oh my- It's a bullshit ass enemy. Hi, right, we're just gonna hang out underneath the ground where you can't do anything. And then when I pop up, it's gonna be at a place you can't fucking dodge from. Are you kidding me? Lost damage and range. I...
No, just no. An interesting thing is being offered. Hmm. I feel like I get more coins when I don't hit the button. Is that a thing? I, I feel like it's a thing. I am so glad I was just barely out of that blast radius. Take that. Yes, I intend to do what you guys think I want to do. If I got unbreakable, I would just let the fucking fruity plum carry me. I will off screen this shit to win. I'll be like, yep, I just waited three hours for this little guy to kill. Great. I could record that if you guys want to see it. It's just, I don't know if it'd be hilarious just to watch this little guy fuck Greed's shit up or not. It would take forever, though. But I'd be willing to do it! Oh my god! Should've hit the button! Good. It's not there anymore. You can't do that now. Oh god! Is it? Nope, it's not dead. It's not dead. It's not dead. It's not dead. It's the only flying thing we need to. No, 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 no. How much health does it have? Okay, now we don't have to be so reckless, because if I need to, I can just jump on a rock. Pretty sure I lost my holy mantle. Not to mention, I have an opportunity to do something else. Namely,. I could absorb this, actually, for a stat increase. 
So let's take a little bit of a gamble. Either way, we need to absorb something, right? Okay, that disappeared. I was hoping to get something. That gave me... I absorbed an active. Oh my god, why are you so... It's because I realized that I could have two things and I... <sighs> I make terrible life choices. Tears and damage. And a kitty cat tail. Is that how the Powerpuff Girls started? Um, I think that's how Necroparo started. button. God, fuck. 